Hi everyone, I'm Teresa. We're back again today with another helpful hint. This is my little Chihuahua Yum Yum. She's going to be my little helper today. Today's topic is nail trimming. Most of you are familiar with these type of nail clippers. I never use these anymore. I used to use them, but I don't anymore. I'll tell you why. I don't. Over here you'll see this diagram that I drew with a side profile of their little toe with the toenail. Inside the nail, this pink part is what's called the quick. It's a little vein. Many times when using these nail clippers, that little tippy edge of the quick is nipped and they bleed. If you do get a bleeder, it's always good to have stip dip powder on hand. There's a little dab. You stick your finger in a little dab, put it on the little toenails, stop the bleeding right away. But the problem with using these, if not done properly, I have a little dog here, is what happens is here. If you cut the nail at the straight angle, with the way that the quick goes, if you cut it straight, which you would naturally want it to do, you're definitely going to catch the edge, that little edge of that quick in there, and you're going to get a bleeder. With that being said, even if you cut it and don't get it, if you cut it shorter, I mean, keep it longer, what happens is that quick is still inside. And while the nail is in, the, in these cutters, it squeezes and it pinches that, that quick. And it does hurt them. That's why they don't like it. Most dogs will run away. They see these come out the drawer. The correct way, if you're going to use these, is to cut it on an angle this way with cutting the top part of the nail a little shorter and leaving the bottom part longer. So if you cut it at this angle, you're more than likely going to miss the quick. So you won't get a bleeder. It's still gonna pinch them though. So with that being said, and I don't use clippers anymore because one day I was doing my toenails, doing myself a pedicure with my pedicure kit. And it just came to me, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna try doing this on the dog's nails. So I took my little tool. I, I have different attachments, but the one I found that I like the best and can control the best is this one that looks like a little upside down cola. It's flat on the top. Put it in. I feel like I have the most control with this. So, I plug that in. Get comfortable. That's why I'm wearing my jammies. My jammies, because and so is Yum Yum. She's wearing her jammies. How cute. The more comfortable you can make them, the easier it's going to be. With trimming them with the, with the Dremel, the most part that they're not going to like is just a little bit of vibration. Look at my little, look at my little Chihuahua jammies. Look at those. Get them comfortable, prop them up. I use a little cushion here. Prop them up, make them feel secure. And then you just take one of their little feet at a time. Come on, baby, it's okay. I know. You turn on your Dremel. The noise is a little loud for them sometimes, too. But you can control it much easier. So then you just hold their nail securely. Hold the pad, and then once you go on the nail, it just go zip. See? And you just do all edges, all sides. And just like I said on the diagram, taking off more on the top than the bottom. With Yum Yum it's a little easier because she has clear nails and I can see the pink. So you just, you don't have to leave it sitting on there because this will get a little bit warm after a while. But that's all you gotta do is do all edges. See how it doesn't really bother her too much? There you go, next one. See underneath, get the little underneath. And then mostly the sides. Holding the toe securely because you kind of absorb a little bit of the vibration for them as well. And then you just go all the way around, take it off the top, roll up the bottom until it's the desired like you want. Move on to the next one. For some reason, Yum Yum's nails grow really fast, especially the two middle ones on the front foot for some reason. I, I do do her nails every week keeps up with it and it's less you have to do at a time so they don't have to sit as long. So if you just do that, a little pinky down. Oh look at that yum. Don't breathe it. Looky looky. 
Oh, what a good name. What a good girl. Okay, and now a little stubborn thumbnail. Yep, you're good. See? Come on. Get right off. That's it. And that's one whole foot done, that quick, that simple. I can usually do all four at, in a sitting with no problem, she'll stay. See, because she's quite comfortable, she's used to it. But um, sometimes you want to take a break. If your dog's a little more fussy, just let them run around for a few minutes and put them back up. But no screaming, no crying. They don't struggle with you as much or with the pedicure trim. So your choice. You can see my clippers are rusted. That's how long it's been since I used them. Make your choice. This is mine. I hope you liked our session today, and I hope this makes life a little easier for you. With my styptic. Close it down. And you could say goodbye. And you'll save yourself a, you'll, you'll save yourself a, a little bit uh, at the groomer or at the uh, vet. So you don't have to get them groomed. I wash them myself. So if I had to bring them to the vet to get their nails clipped, it's uh, approximately fifteen to twenty dollars, depending on what vet you use, just to trim the nails. So I do that myself too. The name of my Dremel is the Penny Nova. It, in case you're interested, but uh, you can, it doesn't really matter what brand you use. I just happen to have this one that was mine, and it works perfect. You can use whatever attachment you're mostly comfortable with. There's cone-shaped ones and all different shaped ones, so you'll have to try that yourself and make your own decision. This I happen to find the one I like the best, but it could be different for you. Anyway, we love this. Saves us a lot of scariness with this yucky clipper, right? No more that clipper. Bye-bye. Okay? Say bye to your friends. Bye.